Hello and welcome back to today's Hustle Castle video. In this one we're going to talk a little bit about the mole event items and then a little bit about the specialist since that got released not too long ago and then really talking about if any of these are worth using. So straight away let's head to the mole event and I'm going to show you a couple of good items to be using. So from what I can tell looking at the list and checking through the items there are only two items you should be using guaranteed in your squad. The first one is going to be the artifact. I'm going to read the description of what it does in case this is the first time of you seeing it but I'm sure once you do read it, you'll know that you're going to love it. Once in a while, a lightning bolt strikes an enemy with the lowest magic armor, dealing 250,000 magic damage. Now, again, this would be at throne room 11. If the target of the ability dies within five seconds after being struck by the lightning, a random ally will be resurrected with 30% health. Additionally, when an ally dies, the lightning has a 60% chance to strike out of turn. What this basically means is that somebody on the enemy is most likely going to die or at least take a huge amount of damage. And the great thing is it still has a great chance of resurrecting one of your downed fighters and it can still do this out of turn so this is going to be a fantastic item not only for damage but also for getting someone resurrected so this is going to be a great artifact to use. The next and only real item I would say to go for is going to be the Fire Plasma Ring. Once in a while, they silence a random enemy, and that's preferably a mage, for 3 seconds and deals 150,000 physical damage for again 3 seconds, and then they can't use their abilities. Apparently, they can still use their set abilities within this time, so that's one thing that you can't stop, and the target of the ability also takes 25% more damage. Now, the reason why you'll want to be using this if you can, and only if you haven't got a full set of event items as of yet in terms of rings, is because that 150,000 damage is still going to be very vital to killing the enemy. Even though you can't silence their actual armor abilities, 150,000 damage is a huge amount for a mage to take. It could be half, it could be just a chunk, sometimes it could be all of them if they've only just got to throne room 11. So either way, this ring is going to be vital for killing the mages very quickly, so I'd recommend using that as well. The rest of the items are somewhat okay, some are good, some could be useful, but to myself the artifact is a must and the ring is preferable if you can actually put it onto your squad. I should also mention that the red dragon is still out and at least at the time of recording there's just under 3 days left, probably by the time you see it there is 2 days left. I do have a fantastic video on this dragon which I'll leave at the very end and for yourself you get to look at all the best items for your tank, mages, archers, artifacts, it's got literally everything so there's no point in me covering these now since every time the dragon comes about they only add a few items so that'll be for the end. And lastly let's now talk about the specialist from the set workshop. This obviously goes for people that are from M11 but either way let's go and check them out. Again there is a lot to read so I'm going to start reading through it and then break them down as we go along. Once in a while the specialist sets a random enemy on fire, the burning enemy takes 250,000 magic damage and has their healing rate reduced by 35% for 4 seconds. Again this is a huge amount of magic damage that the enemy have to take. 250,000 is still going to be a good chunk for any tank unless you're talking to people above 30 million but either way this is a huge chunk of damage and because of the reduced healing rate it's going to be really hard to keep those fighters alive. Once in a while the specialist throws a burning fuel oil grenade at a random enemy. When the grenade hits an enemy it explodes and stuns the target and all enemies within a small radius around it for 2 seconds. The target and all enemies around it are covered in fuel oil and their attack speed is reduced by 30% and their spell power is reduced by 25% and that is for 5 seconds. So basically it's going to hit someone let's say it's your tanks, mages, they're preferable because then there's going to be more units between each other and that just slows their attack speed and spell power so for that first part it's not a big deal but it definitely moves on to what this next bit can be good at. When an enemy covered in fuel oil is set on fire they take an additional pure damage equal to 15% of their max health every second for 3 seconds. Straight away this is huge because technically that's 45% of their max health over 3 seconds and that's a huge amount of damage no matter what throne room you're at. Additionally when the grenade explodes, it sets all affected enemies on fire and the burning units take another 300,000 magic damage and the healing rate is reduced by 45% for 5 seconds. Now I don't know about you but 300,000 plus on top of the other 45% of their max health already taken away, that's going to kill most fighters so if this specialist can stay alive, sets people on fire and allows these burning units to take that amount of damage, I can't see many fighters staying alive from after all of that damage. Plus with the healing rate reduced by 45% as well, they're just not going to be able to stay alive for very long so that is already very good. At the start of the battle, the specialist is immune to for debuffs for 5 seconds, again that's fantastic so at least they can't be stunned and at least
Specialist use their starting abilities. The Specialist and all allies restore health equal to the additional damage dealt by the burning of the fuel oil and the healing is distributed evenly. Now what this basically means is going to be fantastic for healing your squad. This says additional damage dealt by the burning of the fuel oil which is going to be this part here. Additionally when the grenade explodes it sets all affected enemies on fire and those enemies take 300,000 magic damage. So that basically means each unit 300,000 and then that's going to be spread around your team at the same time. So it's great for damage, it's great for survivability, and it's going to be helpful for your whole team. Would I say that this is worth it for putting in your team? I actually would say so. I don't think it's going to be better than the Dragonborn if you only want one particular archer, but I definitely think this is going to be better than some of the mages out there, so even if it's the Incinerator, I would still say that this one is a better choice to go for, and either way, you can pick whoever you want to take out, but this person, I believe, should be in your squad. The great news from this is that you only need to get the materials from the portal. It will be the very Dark Souls, so not just the simple ones, but at the same time this is going to be much more achievable to get than anyone from the Expedition or the Clan Store, so I really do believe that people should be using this in their squads, but as always I have to make this point clear because whenever they bring out a new set they do try and sell it off. Please do not buy any parts or the full set for the full price. It's quite crazy that you could just make this over time and you're really not going to be losing out that much you'll start to lose initially if people pay for it but you're just going to get back to where they are anyway and you're not going to pay anything so really never spend any money on the sets it's a crazy amount of money they're ridiculous for trying to push this onto you guys but the only thing i'd obviously recommend is getting premium because that just helps play the game and makes it easier to do so yes that is everything for today's video thank you for watching here is the video of the red dragon if you want to be checking that out for the best items you could be getting and here's my latest plague in corporate video since this one went pretty good and it was exciting to see and at the same time in the next week or so there'll be some payday videos since i'm enjoying that and that's another new game to be playing and as always leave any comments below if there's a particular video you want to see on hustle castle 